Hey, what's going on guys? We're gonna show you how to take out your 2013 and upper years Fiat 500, 500E's radio to replace it with an aftermarket one. Now, if you are planning on returning this unit for reselling, like I am, you wanna be careful not to scratch up the unit. First and foremost, you're gonna see that the two little buttons here and here are removed, and those are right here in my finger. So easiest thing to do is get a very small, thin screwdriver, flathead, pry them up, very very gently and they'll pop right out. No worries about that, but do be careful about accidentally scratching them because that black paint will come right off and you don't want that for reselling. That's on both sides here and here and here and here. Next up in the description box below, I'm gonna actually gonna have professional ones that are meant for this, but I was able to actually make my own. You could try a coat hanger. I didn't get quite that far. I tried a file and some small screwdrivers and the grip was just too too hard to grip it and what I found was this was beautiful this is actually like a golf towel little hanger uh, that's supposed to clip into this little thing right here again probably like a nickel or something like that just find something similar to this create your own if you do not want to pay the $11 the ones that it's supposed to be they're for Fords but it does the same job and you actually get two of them for 11 bucks again linked in the description box below with that said what happens is this shoves in to the circle here and shoves into the circle here and you want to make sure you go all the way back because up here is like a little trigger point that needs to be pressed in to release it and what I did is one at a time inched it out did this one inched it out went back over here back over here I think two times each side and then with my fingers now I'm able to pull the whole unit out but once the whole unit is out you're gonna have your wiring in the back, let me go ahead and just do it live right here with you. And so this is where your wiring is gonna be in the back here. Looks like we have a little bit of playroom here pulls out so we'll go ahead and remove that yellow this one right there that one doesn't look like it's attached to anything and then your big pin right here we'll have to remove all right so those pins removed you actually have a really big gray one on the bottom as well easiest thing to do is to remove those take a flathead screwdriver once again look at the back here, you're gonna push down slightly right in this little edge, push that way and that will pop right out. Same thing with this one. You just get that little edge right there and push back that way. That will pop out. Easiest thing to do on this side is you have a tab right here and over here, that one will pop out. This one's a little tricky. Be careful with this so you don't ruin the clips. Push in on these two, pop those out, and then with the other hand, grab that side, pull that one out. That's on the bottom, that's on the top, and that's what it looks like. Stock right there, and if we look at the back of the unit here, that's what it looks like, and that's where your plugs go into. Again, I'm gonna be reselling this car, so I'm gonna be transferring this out. So thank you guys so much for watching. If if I were you, I would put back your little things here and here and here and here. And if you don't care and you're going to resell the car with the third party radio, then go ahead and sell this on eBay. Make up some recoupment costs on your third party radio. Hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel, guys. We got a lot more action. Look in the description box below once again for the professional tool if you don't feel like making your own. Take care. Bye bye. Don't let the party stop, guys. Hit one of these videos, continue to watch. We'll see you soon.